As China's saber rate rattling increases, observers have noticed the sharp discrepancy in Taiwanese and Chinese military spending. China's defense expenditures in 2022 will reach 1.45 trillion RMB, which is about 6.4 trillion NT, a 7% year-on-year increase, according to the latest statistics. Taiwan's defense spending, on the other hand, will be roughly 374 billion NT, which is 17 times less than that of China. However, despite the discrepancy, one scholar has remained optimistic, stressing that China's economy is weakening, and it's not likely that this trend can be sustained. Given that China's economic capacity is slowly declining, but its military spending is gradually increasing, then how long can it maintain this increase? This is a problem because after your defence budget is allocated, you probably need to buy equipment, you need to train the troops, you need to shape the combat force of the army, then you need to maintain the state of the troops. Then, after all this, you need to once again buy even newer things. For several years now, Taiwan has been emphasising asymmetric warfare, and this actually is the key to confronting the PLA, which has an absolute advantage in numbers. The scholar argues that the wider the gap between the two countries' military spending, the more Taiwan needs to strengthen asymmetric warfare so that China won't dare make rash moves against Taiwan.